Hello everyone, welcome to my one year review of the EG4 3000 watt inverter. Before we get started, we're going to thank our sponsor, The Sun. Without The Sun, this video would not be possible. All right, let's dig into this. Portable, because I'm in the middle of a remodel, that's why we're in this mess. Wherever I'm working, I could just wheel it out of the way. And so when I get done remodeling, I'm going to put it in its permanent spot. But the beauty of this equipment is the inverter only weighs 18 pounds. The batteries are a little bit heavier, but it's so portable. So if you're building a cabin or you're just starting on your house or anything like that, you just got some raw land and you're going to get started. Rather than running a generator, you can just start with something like this. You just need this, some solar panels, and you've got power and it's awesome. All right, let's talk batteries now. I've got these two 48 volt, 100 amp hour server rack batteries. Now these are the LLS batteries. When I was looking at batteries, I was considering two different ones. You've got the Life Power 4, which is another server rack battery. These are offered by EG4 batteries. If um, these spec sheets I have, if you go on Signature Solar, you can print these off or look at them online either way. So what is it, Life Power 4, it didn't have quite as many features and so that's why I went with it for the EG4 LL because this one's got more information on the front and the terminals are on the side. It's got a display. It's got your battery meter right here, but it also tells you on here the percentage of your batteries. You got an on and off for your BMS. So you got a breaker that turns the power off coming out of the battery. These have a built-in fire suppressor. So if anybody's worried about your batteries catching fire, they've taken care of that. That's a lot of the reason why I didn't just get raw cells and build my own system is because this has already got the BMS. It's got the fire suppressor. It's got everything ready ready to just plug and play and you don't have to figure all that out yourself so much and I like the fact that it's all EG4 equipment so it all talks and communicates with itself really easy. The other batteries that could be considered for this kind of system is you've got the wall mount all-weather lithium battery and the indoor lithium battery. These are both wall mounts but these would also be good batteries for this same kind of system. These ones have a 8,000 deep cycle rating or these ones have a 7,000 deep cycle rating so the, the cycling's a little bit better on the wall mounts. I would like to play with wall mounts but I haven't played with them yet. I do like these batteries. They've been really good. You can stack up to 64 of these ones together with the life power fours you can stack up 16 of those together that's the beauty of the stuff now that is so plug and play you just hook it together these you can go up to 12 of these all stacked up so you can just buy a few things and then just add to your system as you go it's great okay so here we are we've got this black cable coming off this is our negative coming to our batteries you just hook it to the bottom run jumpers when you buy this system it comes with these wires it comes with the jumpers you just jumper between your batteries you got your positive coming over here, jumping between. You got a communication cable between the batteries so they can talk to each other. You've got the top, you hook in your communication up to the inverter so the inverter knows what the batteries are doing. So I've been really impressed with these batteries. One of the things I'd really like to do is actually try these batteries out even more. See how much I can get out of them, how hard and how much power I can get out of them, which this inverter won't do. So one of the upgrades I want to do as soon as I can is get the 6,000 XP off-grid inverter because this one is good for 6,000 watts. This one's 3,000 watts continuous. You know, these are pure sine wave inverters. I don't know if you guys are used to the older inverters. You had the modified sine wave. The very first inverters I ever played with were square wave, which put a buzz in any of your speakers. Your TV had a buzz in it, everything had a buzz. So pure sine wave is amazing. You just got clean sound coming out of everything but the 6000 xp has built-in breakers for your batteries and your pvs and it's also a 240 volt so it's 110 and 240 which is something i'd really like to do because then i would take this one and put it on my golf cart so i could use my golf cart as a portable power system which would be cool all right, now moving along here, we're gonna to come to this. This is just a extension cord coming out of here. This is hooked up to the AC side of this inverter, this extension cord, and this is what's plugged into the house. This is running the whole house, running three deep freezers, a fridge all the time, swamp cooler on the hot days, all the power tools to do the remodel, working great. Then we come to these cables. This is the solar panels coming in. Now here's one of the big difference with the newer equipment is that you run smaller cables because you run higher voltage. That's another thing I really like is how high a voltage you run into this. You have to actually run in over 120 volts off your solar panels for this inverter even to turn on and start charging these batteries. When I got this inverter, I'd take all the existing solar panels I had that were hooked parallel, you know, they're series and then parallel. And I actually took everything I had and series it up 
every single panel and brought in 300 volts into here. I've got over 300 volts coming in on these, you get your positive and negative coming in. And so that, I mean, you're saving $500 right there just having a built-in charge controller. It's amazing. Back in the day, you know, buying separate charge controllers, those days are over. And this charge controller is good up to 5,000 watts of panels coming in. Pretty sweet. So we've got this cable coming out of here, which goes up to here which is your communication. This hooks to your Wi-Fi and then you can hook it to the app on your phone and you can monitor your inverter and you can monitor the power coming in, power going out, you can see what's happening. You know, it used to be, this would be something you'd have to add on. So that's the thing about this inverter, you, the amount of stuff you give on, it's almost like they're giving it away for free. It's like buy a charge controller and get a free inverter. It's pretty cool. So this is your AC coming in. This is if you're gonna hook it to your generator to charge or if you're gonna hook it to the grid. Obviously this isn't grid tie, it's not gonna feed power back to the grid or anything like that, but this you can plug in to run the charger in here to charge your batteries off the grid. I'm so far out in the middle of nowhere, grid, what's that? Everything to me is all generator, solar, but uh, with the upgrades I've done, I haven't started a generator since I put this system together, so. The efficiency on this system compared to lead acid. Lead acid, it feels like you put in 100 watts of power and you get 50 watts back out just because of all the loss the, in the plates and everything, the loss of power, the lack of efficiency, you lose so much power. So even if all you do is you take your existing panels, you put this on, you're gonna have a lot more power. You're gonna have more electricity, more stuff you can run in your house. All right, this gives you kind of an overview of this system. Obviously you can dig in deeper, more specs. I'm not gonna get really into that. If you're interested in that, I can make more videos, deeper dive into it. It's been working great for a year, power and everything. Um, I guess that, let's talk about regrets. I do have a regret when it comes to this system. I wish I would have bought this in the beginning, but it didn't exist when I started solar. You guys are so lucky today. The equipment you can buy for the money and what the value you get, it's amazing. It's just mind blowing to me. So anyways, let's get to the other things I've run on this. Okay, here's some of the tools I've been using in the remodel. Besides these tools here, you know, I run table saw, various hand tools and battery chargers, of course. So here we are, we easily run this chop saw, this jackhammer, just jackhammer concrete all day. Got the concrete saw, run that bad boy, easy peasy. Here's a welder. So with this system I've got, I actually run this weld pack 100. This is a wire feed welder, 110 volt. And it'll also run this compressor, 1.7 horsepower compressor. So pretty impressive everything I can run. Now we'll show you what it can't run. All right, so here's the items that it hates is. 1200 watt heat gun, does not like that. It'll only run for about five seconds, overload the inverter. So this it won't run either. This is a drywall sander sanding your walls. It's just a small motor on here, so I don't know why it won't run that, but it does not like that. So I have to start the generator when I want to use this one. But other than that, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so this is something I really want to run. It's 220, so I'm gonna to have to upgrade in order to run this, but this is a, it's a stick welder. It takes a lot of power. I have to run a pretty big generator to run this. But I'm pretty sure the battery they have will run this, so as soon as I can, upgrade that inverter. So in closing, I would just like to tell everyone, solar is fun and it's for everyone. You don't have to be intimidated by it. You can start small. You can start with a 12 volt system. Just go get a small battery, a small solar panel, a small little inverter, start playing with that. Just kind of get the basics, work your way up, bigger batteries, bigger stuff. Or when I first started solar, it's way more complicated. You had to have so much more equipment. I've been doing this for over 20 years. So I've used a few different pieces of equipment over the years. So the big thing is, is to just get yourself some solar and start playing. The nice thing about a 48 volt system is that smaller wires, it's more efficient, so you're gonna get more power for your money. The solar has gotten more affordable than it ever has been. The grid prices keep going up, solar keeps going down. If you can afford to put gas in a generator, you can afford to go solar. Okay, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.